Hello everybody, MediaFX here. Today I'm going to be doing a Clone Commander Keeley custom. And um, this is a pretty neat custom. It's probably, I'd say not probably the best clone I've ever made, but right up there. It's pretty nice. So um, I think, start it with, I'll say all my customs are made with real metal, like this stuff, and real fabrics for the commas and capes, all kinds of stuff. So, all real fabricated materials. All great stuff. So, um, a lot of this custom reminds me of the Commander Fox that I just sold. It's got almost the same type of colors, and if the colors look a little bit rough to you guys, I did have to mix it. For some, for some reason, this apple barrel, the barn red paint they've got here, it doesn't have quite the right color for some reason. So I had to mix a little bit of orange in there too. So uh, I think I did a pretty good job. And um, yep, here he is. Start with, I'll start with the legs. The legs are pretty much mostly red. I'll just say red for that color. It's more like a maroon or something like that, but I don't exactly know what to call it. I'm going to get paintbrush point with my paintbrush. Here we go. The legs are mostly maroon and then except for around the knee pads and if you if if uh, this comma came off, which it does not, you could probably see that the, on the knee pads there's some red there. Oh, my hand's blocking the light. And I'd love to do this in some more natural lighting, but I didn't really have a chance. So um, I just had to do it like this. So working up, he's got a great comma, real fabric comma, with that stripes of red on it. I'm trying to get a little bit better focus. Here we go. And um, his belt pieces. I'm trying I lost the main material I do belt pieces with, so I'm having to use something else now. It's kind of annoying. And then um his chest it had a pretty rough red stripe right there. It's pretty rough in the cartoon if you see it. But um I think I made it even a little bit too bumpy. So um above that he's got an awesome, awesome pauldron. I don't know quite I th I've made better pauldrons than this one, but this one came out pretty nicely. It's a little bit different than I usually do them though. Probably should have looked at the picture a little bit more, but it still came out okay. It's gr gray on it, and then those top pieces are red. Okay. Oh, focus. There we are. Come on. Okay. Okay. It's like the mutant camera. Okay. Keep going. And um, so now I think I'll just do the arm plates. It's got like this sort of weird little, uh, I'll lift it up a little bit so you can see it. Now, the, uh, the only problem that I find with this figure is that, um, oh, come on. The only problem I find with this figure is that the arm plates, oh, you can't even see them. There we go, that's a little bit better, the top shoulder pad. That the arm plates on this guy, this is probably the, the probably the, um, my least favorite part of how I made this one is the arm plates are just a little bit um, messy. There's some pretty good details in there. I didn't have quite the right paintbrush to do this with. I'll probably clean them up a little bit before I sell them though. And this figure will be will be on eBay almost for sure. So um, I'm looking forward to that one. Not the mutant camera again. Okay, let's see. And the other arm pads just got a little dash of red on it, and the rest is. Never seen a camera do anything like this. And then the rest, I did a much better job on this side, I think. It's a little bit more simple, though. And then, um, let's see. Beyond that, take off his helmet. Just got a regular clone head. Actually, I should have given him, I had a different head I wanted to give him, but I'll probably change it out. I'm going to make sort of like a more customized head. If you watch the cartoons, one the one with Commander Keeley, it's like season three something, I think. Episode three, maybe, and um, he's got a beard. He's he f he's fights with this Jedi Master guy, and he's got a big beard and a mustache underneath his helmet. So that's kind of funny. I didn't know clones did that, but they made this one do it. Oops! Just dropped the helmet right off. All right. So um, put the helmet back on. Actually, I'm gonna not put the helmet back on. Let me show you something. Take the head off. And. Voila. Okay, yes, very rough, I know. The, um, this painting right here is pretty rough, but it's still pretty nice looking. I just had to mix the colors. It never comes out as nice as you want it to. 
there we go. And now for the pauldron. That's what this thing is. It's called a pauldron. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on. Ah, there we go. Nope. Alright, so, um, you already saw it on the guy. It's mostly gray. It's mostly gray, and then it's got these orange pieces on top of it. And back behind is just a big sheet of metal, just like it is in the movies. In the cartoon. So let's see. Come back on. Put this piece back on. Oh, and as you can see, whoops. As you can see, this figure has um, that nice <coughs> neck armor. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little groggy. This piece has that nice um, fabric, like neck protector type thing. It goes all the way around. It's pretty sweet. And then um, you can slip on his helmet. And here's a pretty cool thing. This is actually, I want to get it up a little bit. This is my first movable rangefinder. Works. You can actually find his range. So yeah, I don't know. It's not as smooth as some of the ones. I'm sure some of you guys are way ahead of me. I know the noble artist already has has made several that move. But um, for me, this is my first successful one that really moves. I made it with like wood and metal and all kinds of stuff. So, but it's pretty cool and it comes out. It's pretty neat. It's nice. Whoops. Drop it. Find it. Find it. Find it. There it is. So, um, yep, yeah, it just looks a lot like just one, like one of the Lego ones. But it's all custom made with real metal and everything. So, yeah. I just don't like the way that Lego makes their rangefinders. They're not very proportionate to the, um, actual figures. They're, like, really thick. It's like having a rangefinder that's the wire of the rangefinder. is like four inches around or something for the Lego ones. So, I've even, I've made even thinner ones than this, even more proportionate ones than this, um, but they don't move. So this is a pretty, my first one that moves, I think I'm doing pretty good on it. And, um, yeah, it sticks out a little bit from his head, but that's about all right. I think that's about it. Oh, except for one little detail that I was saving for the last. Awesome, awesome, awesome custom pistols. I use Django Fett style whoops, because I like the way they look in the clone trooper's hand. I use these for a lot of clone commanders, because, um... They are they just look much nicer than, than the ones that Lego makes or other ones that I make. So that's pretty sweet. Let's see. Let's stick them back on the thing. Go, oh, yep. Pretty nice little pistol there. And um yep, these little guys just go right in to these holsters. Let's see. Sweet, huh? And he's got two of those guys. I just want to see if we can get a closer look at that pistol holster. It's really nice. It's got a little strap on it, and in the back, pistol looks so cool when it's in there. There's, yep, they're specially made for these pistols. They're super, super, super nice. And these were hard to make. These took several tries to get them right. Oh, and then there's a little bit of detailing on the back of the figure and on the back of the custom. I like that shot right there. Just hold on for a second. I'm going to try it. I want to get a good shot for the thumbnail. Oh, it's going over. I want to keep it less. I want to keep this video pretty short. So um, i got to be done. So comment, rate, subscribe if you like it. Show other people about it. And uh, check out my channel. I've got some other cool customs. This figure will be on eBay. And there will be a link to the eBay right down there. So um, see you guys.